this might be good. Yeah. I am a happy little Koopa. Look at me dance. And I'm a birdie too. Oh man, people, <laughs> if this was real golf, I would probably be thrown off the course by now because of bad course etiquette, like loud course etiquette. Like when you play real golf, you gotta have a lot of etiquette, but when it comes to Mario Golf, go all out, baby. Oh yeah, this is the video game we're talking about, not real life. Uh, yeah, if you're playing with golf with somebody in real life, don't walk, like, if you're put putting or something like that, don't walk in their line, or, I mean, if, I mean, if they're putting, don't walk where their ball is gonna roll over, that's called walking in the line, which is bad etiquette, because it messes up how the greens fibers are, or I should say the green grasses, and stuff like that, and yes, I'm doing a putt again, ooh, me, uh, this time I'm gonna really hit up, hit it, uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty good putt, ooh, ah! So close. Um, also, another thing you should never do when you're uh, golfing with somebody is never talk while they're swinging. It messes up their concentration and somebody could get hurt. Somebody's gonna have to yell for, and that could be dangerous. It actually can get a little dangerous on the golf course if someone hits a straight shot at you. But uh, it's not that often that it happens because there's usually trees or something between you and the guy's straight shot from another hole. So, uh, so I guess golf is a fairly safe sport, but you still have to watch out for those stray balls. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be another birdie. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing all that well. Normally I would birdie and eagle just about every hole, but I haven't played in a while. Um, I, I used to play this game pretty dang competitively. I mean, when the Mario Golf Toadstool Tour site was up, uh, I used, on the Bowser Badlands uh, tournament that they had there, I had the high score of 22 under par by the name of Junior Mon. Yes, that's right, I was, that guy, if you even remember that website. Um, and I used to actually get pretty dang frustrated at this game because I was such a perfectionist at it that uh, when I got the high score, I pretty much quit playing altogether because I, I just wasn't having fun with the game anymore and I quit playing it for like a year and then I uh, started get, getting back into it and I, but I still wasn't playing as much as I used to. Um, so I, I, I'm just basically making this walkthrough a little bit for myself as well just to like bring back the fun of Mario Golf for me. You know, rather than uh, being like, oh, I gotta get closer than that, I've gotta hit this shot 200 some yards to get to this point every time. You know, I, I just wanna mess around like I used to do when I first got the game. And, uh, uh, oh, I'm not gonna make the green with Koopa here. Um, if I had a character with a longer drive, I'd be able to make the green in two, but because Koopa here can't, he doesn't have that much power, he only has 230 yards of power, I'm not going to be able to make the green, but that's okay. Um, I don't expect the birdie or eagle every hole anyway. I'm going to still beat the game with ease, uh, no matter what I do. Because I still admit, uh, I shouldn't say admit, I still know that I have the skills to beat this game with ease, even though I'm not playing as well as I used to. Uh, so let's just sit back and enjoy the game, I guess, and maybe some, ah, maybe some commentary, that was so close. I just had to aim a little bit higher up on that hill, but it wasn't quite high enough. But, uh, well, that's just how things go and go. If I would've got closer, I would've probably got the putt, but that's alright. As I said, I'm not gonna try to be a perfectionist anymore because it took all the fun out of Mario Gold for me. And, that, and that's the point of video games, is to have fun with it. If you're, happy, if you're being frustrated, uh, if you're just bored with the game in general, you shouldn't be playing it. <laughs> you should move on to another game. That's, I mean, a hobby is supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be a relaxation. It's supposed to be fun. To take the stress away from life. It's not supposed to add to it, you know? It's just there to be your uh, fun little getaway uh, from whatever you're trying to get away from, or just to have a little fun. And that's what I'm bringing back for myself. But I said that like five or six times anymore, so let's go back to focusing on the course strategy here. But you can pretty much see where, I, where I'm playing my shots, um, so I really don't have to explain it. Uh, at least with this character. If I was using a different character, I'd play the shots a little bit differently. I'd play them further up on the fairway most of the time. Uh, but otherwise, this this would be about where I, I played my shots anyway. Um, uh, the wind. Oh, 
this is a very this is a really tight shot. When you have a really tight shot, you want to bring it in really high. Um, so change change the impact at the bottom right corner to uh, uh, to go under the ball like that to make the ball go as high as possible and get it to drop straight down on the hole if you can. And look at that, the ball just stops just dead in its tracks. Just like that, without backspin whatsoever. And that's a very nice way to manipulate the ball, and is also why I like to use manual swing, because if my if I think my spin is going to fail me, I can still use backspin. I mean, if, if the impact area will fail me, I can still use backspin to control the ball. Um, um, this is kind of tricky in a way. Uh, I'm going to try like there, and then backspin it. Um, the, the more power your club has, the less backspin it's going to have. So, a forward isn't going to have very much... Ah! So close! Isn't going to have very much backspin whatsoever. But it did have some backspin. I don't know why it didn't have that much backspin. But I'm not complaining. That, that gives me a lot of ball control. Maybe it's in the character. I'm, I'm normally used to using a character like Yoshi. But for the sake of the walkthrough, I'm just going to use a bunch of characters as I go. Uh, whatever I feel like along the way. And... Super topspin! Yeah, they get super topspin. You press A, B at the third impact, I mean the second press of the button when you get back to the impact area. It's one to, I should say, it's zero to start because you're not really doing anything there. Uh, well, maybe just three presses I should explain it as. It's uh, one when you to start it, two on the left side. I would recommend the B button so you can do a manual swing, and then three on the right side. Um, if you press AA on the right side, it'll give you uh, topspin, BB, backspin, BA, super backspin, and AB is super topspin. Um, each character has their own power of spin, like their own trait, like they perform better in certain spins and stuff like that. Um, so you have to experiment with the character that you feel most comfortable with to get the best results. Uh, there's no such thing as the best character, really. Ah, no! Abby Ruff, no! <laughs> but, um, you can use any character to be any tournament, but if you use the characters with the most po power, um, they'll have a smaller impact area, and I'll explain the impact area in just, just a second. Um, you'll see when I get to it, but I'll explain it now. Um, if you have a character with a smaller impact area, on, on that bar down there, if you miss hit your shots, even by a little bit, it'll make your ball go astray pretty far. So you want a character typically with a good impact area. Um, okay, now I'll be able to show you what I mean by impact area. See that? Re see where the A is at the bottom of the screen there? See that red line? That is called the impact area. Depending on which club you use, that changes size. And you absolutely have to get that little marker thing um, inside that area, otherwise you'll duck your shot. Uh, and that's what, that's what the advantage of using characters with less power are, is that they have better accuracy and they have a higher ball impact area for uh, less duffing and more accurate shots even on miss hit shots. So I prefer the characters that have less power, but if you're going for a really really precise high score, you're going to need, need a character with higher power so you can really get the eagles on the par fives and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, just birding each hole with uh, um, a short driving character will still give you pretty good results on a day-to-day -day basis. Ah, no! This is the second time I rimmed the cup. What a ripoff. Well, I got a par anyway, I guess. I'm a happy little turtle. Oh, yeah. Nine under power through fourteen. If I was using uh, like my, the characters that I raised from the Game Boy Advance game of Mario Golf, yes, you can. Oh shoot, that really sucked there. Uh, if you, yeah, you can raise characters using the Mario Golf game for the Game Boy Advance, and you can have some really super powered characters with awesome accuracy and impact areas and stuff like that. Uh, so you'll be able to have the best scores with those characters instead of the in-game characters. Uh, so if you have the Game Boy Advance game, I highly recommend you train your own characters and bring them over with the Game Boy Advance to GameCube uh, link cable. I've got my best scores with those characters, of course. Uh, but as I said, the game in-game characters are still pretty good. They, they all have their own traits, but it, there's, there's nothing like raising your own character for any kind of situation that you like. 
And plus, you can even pick your set of clubs on the Game Boy Advance version to bring over to the GameCube version. Ah! That sucked so bad! This is, this is the advantage of having a character with a good impact area, because even though I mishit the shot, it still wasn't that bad. Um, because it's raining, I'm not going to putt the ball like I did before. I'm going to do a chip shot and see if I can get this in here with some topspin. Amy! And Amy! Go, baby, go! Go, baby, go! Urgh, so close. If only it had a, just a little, tad more power, I would have went in. But that's all right. Dunk. I got a par. Ten under par is still overkill for the tournament. 